every day. Around 5,500 people worldwide were diagnosed with cancer. The oldest known records of cancer come from around 3000 BC in an ancient Egyptian medical text called the Edwin Smith Papyrus. It describes eight cases of breast tumors that were treated with a simple tool, but with no cure. We have worked hard and achieved great things. We have electricity all around the world. We have also fought against diseases and removed smallpox. We are close to removing polio too, but we can't treat cancer yet. Let's look at the human body. If we want to understand cancer, we need to understand cells. For our body to grow and work properly, cells need to divide and make copies of themselves. This process is called mitosis. Mitosis happens in every person's body, all the time. In fact, while you're watching this video, 20 billion cells will divide in your body in just a short time. When genes work properly, they tell when it's the right time to grow and divide. This process happens in an orderly fashion, with one cell dividing into two identical cells, then two cells dividing into four, and so on. Cancer cells don't act like normal cells. They start to grow and divide out of control, instead of dying when they should. They also don't mature as much as normal cells, so they stay immature. Although there are many different types of cancer, they all start because of cells growing abnormally and out of control. When it comes to treating cancer, there are four primary options available. Precision medicine, surgery, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy. During World War II, scientists made a crucial discovery while studying the effects of mustard gas on naval personnel. They found that the gas damaged the bone marrow cells responsible for producing blood cells. This observation led researchers to explore the potential of related chemicals in fighting cancer. Their investigation led to the development of nitrogen mustard, a medicine that proved effective against lymphoma, a type of cancer that affects the lymph nodes. Nitrogen mustard worked by damaging the DNA of rapidly growing cancer cells. Around the same time, Sidney Farber, a scientist in Boston, made a groundbreaking discovery. He found that aminopterin, a derivative of folic acid, induced remissions in children with acute leukemia. Aminopterin blocked a critical process necessary for DNA replication, thereby inhibiting cancer cell growth. These two discoveries marked the beginning of a new era in cancer treatment.